I get close up and into bed with a hell of a ball. I just want to change it a little bit tonight. So I w so I so I'm going to do the preview of Incident Support Unit. And then after that, if you say, if you like live music, join me, Andy O'Hare, a little bit later on, uh, where I'll be reviewing these bands. Then we do them, then you do your little spiel. So rather than me, because at the moment they've been very random, the way they just, you know, these clips have appeared. So just talking a little bit about the Nostock Festival there. Well, Pete Nosworthy is the uh, festival director of that particular event. And of course, last year the Big Chill was also cancelled, but record numbers came through the gates at Roden Paddocks near to Bromyard. So did the Big Chill cancellation actually help the Nostock Festival? A lot of the Hereford tried anyway. A lot of the people who came to the Big Chill travelled from London. Equally, I think it's a terrific shame that the Big Chill's not happening. It's great for the county, it's a fantastic festival and brought a lot of people into the area. But does this mean the day of the festival is numbered? These are smaller boutique festivals that are gaining the people at the moment and the bigger ones, apart from Glastonbury, that are losing them, yeah. I think the smaller festivals are more intimate, the atmosphere is better, they're more friendly, they're trouble free, more family like, and that's the sort of thing that the festival goers are, are looking for these days. They're looking for more than just watching bands, they're looking for total... Well, we've been speaking to David Littlewood, who's a general manager at Eastner Castle, and he says that the estate was trying to find an event to replace the Big Chill. Well, Alison Turner got in touch on our Facebook. She says, thank God for that, I can get some sleep now that weekend. And Saf Kitty Hadley says, that's diabolical. I really, really wanted to go along to the event. So it'll just be the later, to the last one of each. There'll be a couple okay. of things. It'll just be the later one. So, um, what are we using on the first? Right, uh, cut this one, knives. Got the later uh, one. Yeah, got that. Uh, Johnny Masking, just like the only one. Yeah. Then, grab your break. All sorts of publishing kind of meetings, but... And the only place to be was a slap magazine Christmas party winter sauces back at the Worst Arts Workshop. They cooked up a bit of an inspired choice. This is one of the few that I could actually play from Bradford's Captain Hot Knives. Inspired choice. Here's, of course, Johnny Kowalski and the sexy weirdos who have got to be one of the acts for 2013. Uh, they're more Eastern European, but I like this song because it's got lots of mention about pubs in Boston, like the Firefly and the Pig and Drum. Uh, excellent for one, but I've got to mention there was some. They, they came together with a new drummer on the night, Ed Steele Fox, a great friend of this show. Uh, but there was some amazing, but uh, stunning performance, but some amazing solos, especially from Phil on bass too. But now he played a solo, a long solo, at the end of about an hour long set. And if you've seen the size of that bass too, but where did he get the energy from? Undercover Hippie, we were hearing uh, one of his tracks last week, uh, Boyfriend. He says, you may have noticed that the Undercover Hippie name is somewhat absent. That's because I'm losing that name now. I'm performing under my own name. Billy Rowan. So thanks very much for getting in touch. bbc.co.uk slash Hereford and Worcester slash So we've talked all about the Running Man dance. Are you ready to dance like a robot? Excellent. Let's go. They've protected us out and they put us on this stage. So thanks very much to them. Thanks to the two out these. This song's the one that I hate but they love. So this song is called the Robot Song. <laughs> so I wondered if you could give a ring to some of these. I've I've, I've emailed a lot of people. Dave, I'm in the okay. So they, they've confirmed. No, King Mantis, I don't know if you've got a number. No, I don't know that. Or Mike might have a number. <coughs> Heroes of Hanoi, I've emailed them, but they haven't got back to me. Fights and Fires, they generally can't do Sunday, uh, Sundays, but I can't find a number for them, and I thought you might have. I need to check them out. So if you're able just to do a couple of ringing around, yeah, a bit of ringing around. Yeah, okay, come on. How's this finish? Hello, Yeah, well, they're, they're all in Morgan, you see, and I've been, I am out there for a session ages ago, and I've got, you know, I haven't had the opportunity, it's just perfect for them. Um, Hello, Baloo, they've given me like 15,000 numbers as well. Because the man machine did deliver season number nuts for Christmas. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> and that's it, folks, yeah. Wow! Do I get PRS for that? Yeah, you do, I you know. get a royalty. <laughs>
mentions a rather tickly. Great, they can talk about more than rocks at the same yeah. time. Now I put Heroes of Hanoi or Hullabaloo. Now you've got Fights and Fires or Hullabaloo. Yeah, um, Fights and Fires or Hullabaloo, whichever one's available. I would go with Fights and Fires first if you've got their number because I keep promising them that. Okay. Um, but definitely J. Rudy. Okay. Um, Definitely Steve Gummers, well, so, you're, you're but if I can't, then it's only space point one. zero. There's five. Hullo Blue or Fights of Fires, oh, Jay Rudy, H and Heroes of Hanoi, point zero or Steve Gummerson or Dale Von Minica. Those are the five that I'm trying to get on the lineup. Okay, give me something to go for. Okay. Uh, well. As you see, some, a lot of them I've emailed and they haven't got back to me. Okay, Andy, I think Remy Harris is at the door. I only just cottoned on to what you were talking about there, O'Hare. Oh, I'm actually, I feel really bad at the moment. I mean, I had to bring the Remy Harris and Ben in from reception and they were practising. Oh, I felt so bad about them. They were, they were absolutely brilliant. That was a fantastic session, guys. <laughs> here we go. Oh, yes, here they are again. This is Hey You Guys. I caught them for the second time in two days at the... Newest, one of the newest venues. It was AJ's in Hereford, which is just actually around the corner from the studios here. Now, when I saw it at the Marl Bar, it was um, whimsical and playful, is, I think is the best way to describe it. At AJ's, hey you guys, bordered on the semi-lunatic. Um, he's got them off to a bit of a tricky start, but he's had a front man, Pete Adams, had a checked out the bronze ball in uh, Hereford's high town. Mm -hmm. And he thought they'd only had one testicle, and he had to reassure her the audience, that uh, his perception is it had only one testicle, didn't necessarily extend to every single Hereford male. Um, <laughs> lots of jaws flapping at the level. Well, the great, uh, I think there was some steering contest, distribution of sweeties, and an invitation to sit on Santa Pete's knee, with the inevitable consequences. Now, no, you almost the acts have gone down in Hereford in the past. All in all, I think it went quite well. He wasn't lynched. 